Okay, hi. I just want to give a quick update on how to use the four column format for documenting uh, Excel spreadsheets when you're using uh, a newer version of uh, Excel. Uh, there's a new function in Excel called Formula Text that's very useful for documenting the formulas that you use uh, in Excel. Uh, I'm going to be making use of uh, one of the add-ins that we have available on the Excel NME website uh, to, to show you this example. So what we want to do is use the first four columns of the spreadsheet in a standard way to document uh, our work. In the first column, of course column A, uh, we want to use a label or a name for a variable. And then we can define these variables in Excel so that we can use them in our formulas. And um, that's much more convenient than just seeing cell addresses in the formulas. Uh, the second column will be used to contain the values of those variables, the numbers. Um, uh, then the third column will uh, hold the units so that we know what units are attached to, to those numbers. And then the fourth column uh, should contain either the formula text function that will display the formula that's used to calculate what's in column B, or uh, maybe there's a comment to indicate that it's given information or that it was read from a table or, or something like that. Okay, so uh, here we go. Let's consider that we've got a, a pipe of, of some known diameter, and, and maybe we know the length of it as well, um, and, and it has some surface roughness in, in the pipe, epsilon. And um, we want to know the, uh, the friction factor in this pipe if we have a, a known uh, flow rate. So if the flow rate uh, is, is known, uh, then we want to find out, uh, we're going to need, if we, if we know the flow rate and we want to find the friction factor, we're going to need to know the Reynolds number and to get the Reynolds number, we're going to need to know the velocity of the fluid in that pipe. And uh, so from the velocity and the uh, Reynolds number, uh, sorry, uh, from the velocity, we can calculate the Reynolds number, but we are going to need to know um, some properties of the uh, fluid that's flowing there. So um, the Reynolds number, friction factor. Yeah, I think we can. Maybe we can do this now. We are going to need to know the, uh, the the kinematic viscosity of the the water. Okay. So so these are my labels or names for my variables. And in Excel, I can define or, or really map values in the second column, B, to names in the first column, A, uh, using the uh, uh, formulas tab and the name manager section of, the, um, uh, 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 of that page. So under the name manager, uh, we can use create from selection, which uh, if we use this, Excel will examine the selection that we have and try to figure out where are there some names that should be used. And you can see that uh, what Excel has found in this case is that it looks like there's some labels or names in the left column. So is that correct? And, and, and yes, it is. So we say OK. So now if we say that we have a, a uh, um, a three quarters, well, let's say we have a, a one foot diameter pipe and, it, and it's uh, uh, 3,000 feet long. And the surface roughness is um, 0085 feet. It corresponds to cast iron or something similar. And then if the flow rate was uh, 3,000 gallons per minute, then, um, well, yeah, 
I, I probably want to do this a little bit differently now that I've, I've done that, but that's okay. We'll leave it like that. So now we come to the point where we want to calculate the velocity. So the velocity is going to be the flow divided by the area, and the area is related to the diameter. And so um, we're going to need to convert the flow. And you can see that the, uh, the variable named flow, F-L-O-W, when I type that in, it's color-coded, and it pops up and shows the cell to which that refers. So that's the flow in gallons per minute. And uh, we have to make use of the fact that there are uh, 7.48 gallons per cubic foot and the fact that there each minute is uh, 60 seconds and that will give us the flow rate in gallon sorry in cubic feet per second and now we have to divide that by the area the diameter squared uh, over 4 uh, times pi. Pi d squared over 4 is the area in feet squared. So the result of this calculation will be the velocity in feet per second. Uh, so we're getting a nice error message there. And what's that about? That error message pound name uh, is referring to the fact that there's a name that's used in that formula that Excel doesn't, doesn't recognize. And in fact it's that last thing that I type pi, pi, is, is the uh, value for pi, but it's actually a function. And so to get Excel to understand that, we just have to put the blank parentheses there to say that that is uh, the value of, of pi. So if we put that in there, we should get a happy result. And that'll be the velocity in feet per second. Now I said this last column over here we wanted to utilize to show the uh, formula or a comment about uh, those those values that are given. So here I'm going to use that function that I mentioned in the beginning, formula text, and that will display uh, a formula. Now I could go over here and, and just hot hot click this, and if I do, you see what happens. It brings up VEL velocity, and that's going to forever tie this formula to that, that cell. While that might be what we want, there is some advantage here to just putting the relative address B6. And that way, if I copy that formula to some other place, well, um, let me go ahead and do that. The Reynolds number is going to be the velocity times the diameter divided by that kinematic viscosity. Well, that kinematic viscosity is zero, and so when I put this in there, it's not going to be a very happy result. But I'm going to illustrate that if I copy this formula down, you can see that now, because it's using the relative address, B7 now, it's using, it's giving us the formula that appears there. So having the relative addresses uh, for the formula text function in column D has an advantage that then you can, can copy those down. Okay, we do need to fix this about the kinematic viscosity. I think I might have a function available uh, that's loaded to give me the, uh, yeah, the kinematic viscosity of water in English units. Uh, and so I want to know that at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And that number is actually going to be uh, in feet squared per second. Uh, I just happen to know that from uh, the way that that function works. And, and more about that function can be found in, in other places. But regardless now, we can see that we've got the, the Reynolds number that, that we wanted to calculate uh, based on um, the, the given information. And, and now it's fairly easy for someone to just take a glance at this spreadsheet and understand uh, how these values, how this value is calculated. Uh, we're, we've got these unit conversions embedded in here and um, calculated the area. So uh, it, it's pretty clear. If, if this just had the relative addresses and it had uh, B5 divide, you know, divided by uh, B2 squared 
with these other constants in here, it certainly wouldn't be as clear that this is flow divided by area. So uh, the, the main point of this is to update an earlier video that talked about copying and pasting the formulas that are shown in column B over into column D. But this new function that's in, um, I think it started in Windows 2013, but certainly in, in Windows, uh, sorry, in Excel 2013, but uh, the later versions of Excel have this function formula text, which is quite useful for uh, documenting how these values are calculated. Okay, uh, that's it.